Two beautiful younger brothers. My mom is cursed with a uterus mass-producing male after male. We know a household full of boys isn't the ideal blessing. My younger brothers and I like to paint together sometimes. Every time I sit at the table, my presence accompanied by faces so innocent they can bail others out of prison, armed with a paintbrush and some misprinted scratch paper. We are stitched together by only a few things. Our being one, Disruptive tendencies that get sugar-coated with having a social personality is another. And the last is our mom, but not our dads. I vividly remember meeting my stepdad, and never did I guess that birth from that union would lie artwork. Perfectly blended African genes mixed with my mother's rather pale complexion, I hear some call them light skins. And when they grew older, our favorite thing to do together was paint, because an art piece cannot be made into a masterpiece without variety. Given red, yellow, and blue, as if no other colors had a place in their selection, we decided to paint an American flag. Well suited, stands for freedom, something easy enough for a five and nine year old to construct. And I remember almost being finished when they took that sweet last stroke, the blue in the corner and the red on the stripe collided like generations of warfare and bigotry, producing the purple no one wanted to see as if freedom only existed if it all stayed cleanly separated. Ooh. I remember the first time he raised his palms up to me and said, look, I'm white too, or the day the younger one followed suit, sliding my long hair between his two fingers when from his soul spilled tragedy, he told me that he wanted hair like mine because he hated the curls in his. They're surrounded by monuments polarized like magnets because how can you feel at home when you don't know where you came from? When your blend of history is erased with blood, when it's easy to be reminded that unlike the other kids, you don't quite look like mom and you don't exactly look like dad. When they ask about race, it's no easy answer. It's not one check, but instead check all that apply. And these ignorant minds act like they are lucky enough to share a fraction of color that qualifies them for white privilege, but still receive every bit of racism from the schoolyard bigot. Say what you will. But racism is alive and well in too many classrooms. We treat activism like a fly on the shoulder as we forget what it means when someone has a dream. But I guess a splash really never means anything once the water dries up. They are taught to choose black or to choose white. They are taught to embrace the stereotypes or betray the culture. They are taught to take that painted flag and raise it on the highest mountain or stomp every bit of it out until it melts into the tar. They are taught that you can only go to the North Pole or the South, but I remember the quiver in their lips when they told me that they didn't even like the cold. Don't you dare let them pry your pride from you before telling you to swallow it whole. Don't you dare let them take away the ancestry that traces the curves on your face. You are my brothers. You are biracial and you are beautiful.